What's up, YouTube? Ooh, hot muggy day here in Buffalo. Me find this drink. Me find Tris Quentin. Something with a little citrus flavor to it. Something different. Today I'm trying Bell's Oberon American Wheat Ale. Coming in at 5.8% alcohol by volume. They are brewed in can in Comstock, Michigan. I believe they have another location somewhere in Michigan, but doesn't say so any fucking way. Full disclosure, I've never had this beer. Okay, that is actually pretty fucking crisp, pretty refreshing, nice light my nice light mouth feel to it. Little uh, hoppy finish at the at the end. This is definitely a summer crusher though. Not gonna fucking lie. And like I said, five point eight. That's a respectable summer question. ABV, folks. I paid $17.99 for a 12-pack of 12-ounce cans. I did not get the variety pack like I was looking for. I was looking to get the Bell's variety pack with, uh, like, the uh, two-hearted light and the citrus over on the other one they make. But... They only had the regular Oberon intro pack. So I did not walk by it because I've been hearing good things about this beer for years. Especially with my kayak buddies and my fishing buddies. They always drink this. I use the op for something like Genesee Light or Coors Light in the summertime, folks. Or maybe even a Modelo or something like that. But I have not had a Modelo in about two or three years now. Since the last time I had a Modelo was on my fucking 22nd birthday. Okay, it's been a year and a half. Okay. All right. But yeah, we fucking good. This is definitely going to be replacing the core that I drink in the summertime. The middle that I drink in the summertime. And the PBRs. With the occasional lime site that I do in the summertime, my redneck modelos. But yeah, this is pretty fucking good, folks. It's not too fucking complex. It's it, it's just right. What more could you ask for a summer fucking beer, folks? I'm gonna give this the big room to approval. I'm gonna give it a 4.5 out of 5. Now, I have another one I will be reviewing today that will be quite similar. I'm going to keep that can in frame. Now, I did review, I want to say, a week ago or two weeks ago, I reviewed the Genesee mango peach coast given to me by a co-worker. But, when I was at the beer distributor today, I went ahead and picked up this 24-ounce can, big boy can, of Genesee ruby red grapefruit coast. I, I have no idea what the fuck coast is, but excited to try more scent, more summer crushes. Uh, hopefully, that one does not disappoint because I I did not really care for the uh, the mango peach coast by Genesee. It was more of like a watery type one taste of a uh, peach, and that was it. I I was tasting no mango when I was reviewing that beer. I had tasted peach when I took a sip, and then. After that, it was gone. The aftertaste was completely watery. Not to get completely off traffic. I mean, off topic. <laughs> Not to get completely off topic, folks. Here's shout out to all the viewers and uh, subscribers of the channel. Whatever you guys want to call yourselves. Here's, I appreciate it. <sighs> Whoever decides I'm going to mix this channel up with reviews and shit like that. The Big Room MLTV will be only classic Big Room videos, more liquor type videos, and used to be videos. This channel, I'm trying something different. As my buddy, Beer for Facts, K 
snacks and breakfast, whatever the fuck, brew, try something different. Shout out to you, buddy. Uh, shout out to Beer Day with TK, shout out to Ginger Yeti, shout out to everybody out there, man. Inspiring me to try something different. Mother F, Mother Flip, those pretentious, terrible guys, awful. It's how you make crap beer videos. We're at the bottom of this can, folks. I gave this lovely, delicious beer a 4.5 out of 5. I'm going to give that can a 5 out of 5, though. Absolutely love it. Uh, uh, and weird fun fact. It was $17.99 for the can, 12 pack, But the bottle was $18.99. I mean, what the fuck? The fuck? X dollars? Fuck out of here. Yeah. Step this saving on that one, dog. <sighs> See bottom for the enjoy by date. That's before August 24th. 2024. Press the damn motherfucker. Uh, fuck you. Anybody opposing on this. Go fuck yourself. But yeah, American Weed Ale, pretty fucking delicious. I still don't like IPAs. I tried one that day at a brewery. It's fucking garbage. But this is pretty good. 